Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. Carrie and Lindsay are nervous. They're saying to themselves, how did I get involved in this group? Me and Melissa are saying, you're stuck. You're stuck with us now. We are so excited. You all know Carrie and Lindsay. They're famous. Uh, they started this little group on Facebook that is no longer little called Canvas for Elementary. I think we've got about 117,000 members now. If you haven't joined, go check them out. Really great conversation, really fantastic educators that are involved there. You all know Melissa is our, our chief customer experience officer over at Canvas and Instructure and me. I'm just the class clown that keeps showing up uninvited to these things. So welcome everyone. We're excited to have you. We got some free stuff we're gonna give away. We got some swag and so get ready. But most importantly today, Carrie and Lindsay have some cool stuff to share. So Melissa, let's hand it over to you to kick it off and we'll go from there. Sounds fantastic. Hey everyone, it's great to be back, especially with Carrie and Lindsay. Maybe not so much you, Mark, but that's okay. Uh, we are here because uh, Carrie and Lindsay put together a pretty incredible resource that we wanted to make sure we shared. So I think, I'll, you know, as, as we're heading into to full swing in fall, I think we've all realized that students may need a little extra help, really just understanding how to use Canvas, navigate Canvas in a very self, uh, in a very safe place. And so seeing that that was a need, uh, Carrie and Lindsay actually not only are sharing something that they do and that they've shared with their teachers, but they've actually shared it with the Canvas world. So <laughs> I'm gonna turn it over to Lindsay to describe a little bit about what that looks like and then Carrie's gonna give us a, a demonstration of what exactly they're sharing with all of you in our Canvas community and where those uh, free prizes may come. Awesome. Thanks, Melissa. We're so excited to be able to share this with our teachers, but then the whole greater Canvas community. And this all started out of the need that we heard from our teachers in our Blue Valley School District and also the teachers in our Facebook group of, OK, I'm just now slowly becoming comfortable with Canvas. How do I teach my students how to do all the things in Canvas? And there's no worse feeling than having to teach someone how to do something when you're not 100 percent confident. I remember when I switched to fourth grade, I had to all of a sudden be putting circuits together and conductors and insulators, and I had no clue. And I was so sick of having to ask my team about every little single thing. So I'm like, I'm going to learn this on my own. But then I had to actually go get help from someone else to be able to teach that to my students. So that's exactly what this is, is giving you the tools as the teacher to be able to teach your students how to use all of the features in Canvas. So we took all of the things and the questions we are hearing from teachers. How do I do a Google Cloud assignment? How do I not only create it, but how do I have my students know where to click, what to do to do the Google Cloud assignment? How do they even interact in a discussion? So we took all of those questions and created two different Canvas courses. One is specifically for iPads and one is for Chromebooks. And those were the two devices in our school district that our students are using. So that's those are the two that we focused on for right now. And what they really focus in on is looking at a Canvas overview, assignments, discussions, and quizzes. So it is a step-by-step -step tutorial. And Carrie will kind of get into this, all the, all the the details of it and show you what it looks like. But it is a way for teachers to push this out to their students to do independently. They can even do a whole group, but a way for them to see what it looks like to submit a discussion, to submit a Google Cloud assignment, and what that looks like on the teacher end and the student end. So it's a quick and easy way to learn how to do all the things in Canvas. Um, so to equip your, your students with all of those skills. So Carrie, did I miss anything in the overview? No, I think so yeah, the only like we um, love the passport for Canvas that is also in the Commons, um, but it's more geared to like six twelve, I believe, is what it's actually <laughs> notated on in the in the Commons. Um, and so we just needed something that would meet our our elementary needs. Obviously, it could go higher, and I know in some states, uh, sixth grade or some district sixth grade is elementary, so it could absolutely cross that barrier between elementary into middle school. But we just needed something that was going to be a little bit more elementary friendly. We took some some tips, though, from uh, Passport where we used GIFs mostly. So a student can kind of watch that in loop and be able to see it over and over again, the process and the steps. Um, sometimes our videos were a little too long, <laughs> so we couldn't do a GIF, but we just threw those videos in there as well. Um, but it hopefully just then can help our students be able to see that process. And I'm now going to show it live. This is my first time sharing my screen on a live feed. So hope we don't mess anything up. <laughs> you got this. Oh, you've got this, Carrie. 
All right. Really quick, while you're pulling that up, Carrie, I think I mean, we've got a big crowd on here. I'm guessing most of you know what the Canvas Commons is. If you don't know what it is, you're missing out and you're making your life a lot harder than it needs to be. So really quickly, Melissa, Carrie, Lindsay, one of you, do one of you give want to give a quick just synopsis of what is the Canvas Commons and how do I access sure, it? Sure, I can quickly share why we have it in Canvas and then uh, either Carrie or Lindsay can jump in and talk about how they particularly use it. But Canvas Commons is actually an incredible way to share resources and Canvas specific resources within Canvas. So our thinking was um, within schools, within districts, even within the broader Canvas community, teachers need to share uh, the things that they're using in their Canvas courses. And it makes it really easy. It can be a single piece of a course, it can be an entire course, but it makes it very easy to go grab and use and reuse and share. And we see millions of shares happen every single year. And so I encourage you, if you haven't gone in, you'll see it, it's on your left-hand menu, go hop into Canvas Commons, check it out. Now, Carrie or Lindsay, any examples of how you've used it? Some of the things that we've created for our teachers, we always throw into Canvas and Commons, <laughs> and we allow them to just go share it rather than emailing things out and sharing direct links, we just throw it in Commons and then they can search our names and our teachers have become really great about sharing as well. But I love the feature that you don't have to use all of it, you could just use portions of it and really that cool feature of being able to filter it down um, by what you're really looking for, whether it's math or something more specific even. All right, Mark, are you able? Oh, perfect. You can just see my screen. So um, I'm just going to show the iPad one. There is the Chromebook one as well. For iPads, we focused on using the iPad Canvas app. Uh, the reason we did this is because we really wanted to test that out and try all of these features in the app. And we felt that this was the most efficient way for our students to really be able to submit things and have the most options available to them. So this one is specific to the iPad app. Chromebook is obviously specific to the web. So um, the Chromebook one potentially could be used for iPads if you're using a web version on your iPads. But you can see we've just got some you know, back to school graphics. I am a huge fan of, I believe this one was slides to, slides ago. Um, so I kind of tweaked one of their presentation templates and used that for my graphics in this course. And then essentially we've just got these buttons where this is a Canvas overview. So when students click on it, They'll watch a video that is specific to the iPad and how they will access things on an iPad. And um, in case you're downloading this from the comments, we do have this link here in case for whatever reason that video doesn't load. And then they would basically just be able to work through this content. So here is we're asking them to now change their profile picture. And you can see that GIF of them being able to kind of walk through that. There's Lindsay's beautiful face <laughs> changing her profile picture. <laughs> on that uh, student app. And again, it just will kind of loop because it's a GIF, so they can just kind of watch that over and over again. Um, and then from here, they can click the next button. And that's really all we had in the overview. So yay, you, you, you successfully completed the overview. They can either go back home or click next. And when they click next, it will take them into an assignment overview. And there is a lot more stuff, obviously, under assignments with all the different submission types. So I'm gonna pop over and take a look at the module view so you can see everything that's in there. In the module view, we've also included this kind of guide to this course, if you will. Um, so we've got kind of this about this course page to kind of look at. Again, I kind of give credit to where I found the, the graphics and then obviously our information. So if you have questions about it, you can connect with us and um, be able to, to use this with your students. And we obviously created this for our district, but it can absolutely be tweaked and customized to be able to use with yours. Um, but we also have this awesome teacher guide in here, which hopefully it'll load. But if not, we've got this click here for trouble loading. So I'll go ahead and fingers crossed. Nah, nothing ever works for me when I'm live. Oh, here we go, it's thinking. Ah, there it is. Perfect. So essentially, this kind of walks you through like how you can use this course. We even have a little tutorial for you. Um, you know, we've talked about how there are two courses, one for iPad and one for Chromebook. It outlines everything that's in the course. And then this is probably our favorite part of this document. We created this kind of I want to do blank with my students. How do I accomplish that in Canvas? And we even give like a little preview of what you would see in SpeedGrader if you had your students submit it this way. So let's say you want your students to submit a text entry, which is essentially the student product is just gonna be plain text. 
So you would use the Canvas feature of assignments, and then you would create the assignment using the text entry as their response, and then students will type their response, and this is what you would see in SpeedGrader. And then this, if you look at our module view, you'll see that that is one of the tasks that you can have your students practice through this course. And so essentially that companion guide is, is what we so lovingly referred to it as. Um, you can uh, look through and just kind of see what will it look in SpeedGrader? How will that look for me on my teacher end? And then these tasks will help your students be able to accomplish those things. And we do that for assignments as well as discussions, including responding to and liking a discussion, and then also both classic quizzes and new quizzes. So that's kind of the overview of what that course looks like. And it looks very similar, obviously, for Chromebook, but the GIFs and videos are specific to Chromebooks. And one thing we've seen our, our teachers do is when they brought this in from Commons, they have kind of segmented it and scaffolded a little bit. So rather than like throw it all out to their students and say, go through the whole course, they're saying, okay, these two weeks we're really focusing on discussions. So I'm just gonna push that part out to my students so they can go through the task, practice it, and then go to a real discussion for my class. So rather than pushing it all out, they've scaffolded it for their students. So it's in a um, in more manageable chunks, I guess. And the way it matched it shared in comments, you're also able to go, if you wanted to grab pieces of this and put it in other courses. So um, if you didn't want to run this as a standalone course for some reason, and you had it embedded in other back to school resources courses, you could plant it there. Or I'm even thinking, um, you know, as a teacher, you could pull it into your specific course that students are doing that and have that be a, like a free activity. So you've got options, I would imagine. You yeah, it. and it could even be like its own standalone course. It's almost kind of like a one and done. Like, okay guys, at the beginning of the year, we're gonna go into our back to basics course. We're gonna practice a few things whole group. Now I'm gonna send you off. I'm doing station rotation. You're gonna go practice that over there. And then when we're done with that course, I can conclude it and kind of let it let it die. <laughs> Love it, absolutely. And reuse it again next year if I want to, or even at the beginning of the next semester to refresh on things that we might be doing, maybe adding to it that we didn't do first semester. Love it. Yeah. And those of you go out there and 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 leverage this, um, you know, Lindsay, Carrie, this is incredible. I imagine people will iterate on this or add components. Please share back to Commons, if you will, because this can be a, a living, breathing um, uh, piece of work that you can continue to use from yeah. your We would absolutely, like, like I said, our, our contact information is in there, how to reach us via social media, because we would love to hear like how you are using it with students and is it working? Are there things that didn't work that we need to tweak and change that can be better for everyone that's using it? So that's the nice part about Commons too, is I can literally reshare this to Commons and update it and even just put a tag in there of like what's changed and what's new. So it's really easy for us to be able to update it and share it back. Love it, I love it. Hey Mark, are there questions out in the community at all? Anything else people wanted to see with this? There's a lot, you know, there's been a lot of comments. I do think one of the things that's interesting here and Hildy, if you're listening, Marcy, we've had a lot of requests over the past little bit for student focused resources. Um, unfortunately, the past few months have been a little crazy around here <laughs> and I haven't got, we haven't gotten around to building those, but lucky for us, Carrie and Lindsay just went ahead and did the work for us. <laughs> so you will see in here, all of these GIFs are essentially a GIF for anybody or GIF, yeah. whichever we want to call it. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> a GIF, we're going to call it a GIF today, <laughs> is, um, a small video that shows these students exactly how to do something. We had grand hopes that we were going to have uh, a video created about students using students teaching students how to use Canvas. Uh, and I think we still want to do that. It's just it's getting time to do it. So my big son to really Gary. wants to be a YouTube star. And I actually thought about having him <laughs> create student videos because his district uses Canvas. But like you said, how many hours are there in the day? <laughs> hey, well, let's have a little chat with your son because maybe right. we're going to make him YouTube famous. Love it. Love it. <laughs> If there's any questions out there specifically about this resource, uh, we've got Marcus on here who's, Marcus of course saying it's a hard G. I agree. Um, <laughs> we're not having this conversation right now. It's no, it's going nowhere. Marcus this conversation will go nowhere. <laughs> um, go check out the Canvas casters while you're at it. While Marcus is here, fantastic podcast. 
Um, anything else that you want to make sure teachers or admins know, Carrie and Lindsay, about this resource that they ought to be sharing with all their students? Um, obviously, it's not like completely exhaustive. You know, there are other things. Um, definitely preview it before, like bring it into a sandbox, look at it, strip it down to what you need. Um, I will say like for the most part, it's like out of the box, ready to go. But it's always, you know, wise to double check those things and make sure that it aligns to what your district is doing with Canvas, because that is the beauty of Canvas is it can be kind of personalized to your district. And so just making sure that it's meeting the needs. And if it's not, then you can always add to it or take things away. And even if it's not something you're ready to use with your students right now, it's still a great tool to help you navigate Canvas to see what it looks like on their end as well. Love it. Let's talk briefly, Carrie and Lindsay, about this little giveaway that we're gonna do on, on the Facebook for Elementary, Canvas for mm -hmm. Elementary page. Yeah, perfect. Well, today is September 25th, which is not really any special day that I know of. It's probably like taco day or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I haven't looked at the calendar. No, that's today that's Tuesday, Carrie. Let's be clear. Tuesday, of course. That's Tuesday. But it's Canvas Swag Day, I think. What is Swag Day? We're going to officially make this like Canvas Swag Day. So on the 25th day of September, we are going to be posting in our Facebook group a giveaway for 25 of our lucky members. Um, we want to hear from you about how you're using Canvas this and how it is benefiting you or how it's benefiting your students. Um, you know, obviously this is a time full of lots of overwhelming feelings and sometimes frustrations. And so we would love to hear how it's working for you and how maybe during this transition to virtual learning or to remote learning or to hybrid learning, how Canvas has been able to be a resource for you and um, support you during that journey. So we'd love to hear that. And the group will be posting that in just a bit. And then, um, if you'll just, you know, kind of throw on your comments, we will give extra points for if you want to include some screenshots or a screencast, or you go and like our Canvas for Elementary with Lindsay and Carrie page in Facebook, we'll throw some extra entries in there for you. And then on October 1st, we will announce those winners. And Mark, do you want to tell them what they're going to win? Ladies and gentlemen, today <laughs> for your viewing pleasure, we have... Uh, we're going to give away some sweet canvas beanies, which we don't do very often. These are going to be specially made beanies. Emma, if you're listening, these are going to be sweet. Just assure <laughs> us that they're going to be sweet. Uh, so beanies are coming to the Canvas for Elementary group. Go check them out. Go follow the page. Go join the conversation. And big thanks to Carrie and Lindsay for all they're doing with, with the Canvas community as a whole. Melissa, wrap us up. Yeah, so this is pretty awesome. What a great example of not only doing incredible things for students with Canvas, but sharing it out with the community. Carrie Lindsay, thank you so much for your continued uh, support of the broader community, not just to your school and your students. And uh, we're really excited to help support that. So enter that Facebook, uh, that Facebook competition, please, everyone. You want a beanie, these are cool. And continue this conversation there. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for having us on and, and thank you guys for, um, for all that you're doing to support our teachers during this time. Thanks, guys. Hey, reminder, everyone, October 15th is another pretty big day. Uh, anybody know what's happening on October 15th? Mm. It's not my birthday, if you're wondering. <laughs> is it another swag day? <laughs> it, it is definitely another swag day. It is probably <laughs> our biggest swag day of the year. It's CanvasCon online, and this year it's free. We can't go anywhere, so we might as well be in our classrooms or in our homes watching some really fantastic content. We've been working on, on Melissa's thing, which we've got some great surprises for you. It's going to be super fun. Carrie and Lindsay are presenting. Go check out canvascononline.com um, and go follow that Facebook page. Courtney, I know you're saying the Canvas for Secondary Facebook group is looking sad. No need to be sad. Let's just figure out how we do one of these for the Canvas for Secondary group as well. Uh, but make sure you do go and join the elementary ones so you can win a beanie <laughs> right now. Everyone, have a lovely, lovely weekend. We'll see you back on Monday morning, 1030 a.m. Mountain Time, where we're talking with some of our K-12 Canvas rock stars about why they're excited for CanvasCon. We'll see you then, 1030. Thanks, everyone. Bye.